Hello and welcome. You're joining us in Sydney, Australia, where the sun is shining and the markets are moving. On today's show, my guest Rick Spooner of CMC Markets will be talking RBA policy, those lingering housing market concerns, and we'll also be talking where the central bank would like that Aussie dollar to sit. I'm Natalie McDonald. You're watching Sydney Direct. <laughs> Rick, thank you very much for joining us today. It's a pleasure, Natalie. No problem at all. Now, firstly, investor home loans have rocketed of late, according to RBA credit data released on Tuesday of this week. Now, that's adding more fuel to already pretty hot housing market debate. The RBA have real concerns regarding an investor-led boom, yet there are also fears that RBA action to curb that lending could in fact dent uh, confidence in the housing market. Firstly, how did we reach this point? Is this simply a side effect of those record low interest rates? Well, look, I think it's firstly worth talking about whether the market really is hot now or whether the RBA is just concerned that it might get hot in the future. We saw um, some very interesting data this morning from the uh, RP uh, Rismark Group on uh, Australian house prices, and their index shows that um, house prices have actually only up around 10% on their peak in October. October 2010. So we're only up 10% over four years and we've done what we've done is a lot of recovering from a bit of a trough. Now we are up 9% or so this year and certainly Sydney is the epicentre of that rise. Uh, Sydney prices are up about 14%. Uh, but even there, the rate of growth has uh, tapered off a little bit in recent months. Uh, and in fact, it will be interesting to see really whether the rate of gain we've seen actually holds up now that we're moving into the summer with uh, more supply coming onto the market, with the Chinese economy slowing and with investors getting a little bit nervous about the weakness of the stock market, it may well be that this rate of increase we've seen won't go on with it. That said though, as you say, uh, investor loan growth has uh, increased quite a lot. Why has that happened? Um, well. Firstly, I think it's really just a matter of demand and supply. We went into this situation where Australia had a housing shortage. It's only been over the last year or so that we've started to get to the stage where we're building enough houses to reduce that shortage. Um, low interest rates, as you say, have certainly fed into it, but really from the, the Reserve Bank's point of view, the question is whether those low rates are going to create new houses and new construction activity as they have been a bit or whether they're just going to result in higher prices for existing houses which would be a problem if it continues. There has been some conversation regarding potential still upward growth in terms of price movement. With that in mind then, what sort of window of opportunity does the RBA have to act or, or on the flip side even to, to wait and see? Well, look, uh, there's been a lot of market conjecture about whether their recent statements on housing have been signalling to the market that they have a firm intention to do something in terms of um, tightening up the conditions for housing lending or whether uh, it can just be seen in the light of prudence and getting their ducks in a row and beginning to think about what actions they might take should it become necessary. Uh, my own view is that Having made these clear signals, they probably will do something, but I don't think there's a really urgent need to do it uh, right at the moment. So the net result of that might be just um, some very minor steps to begin with, uh, merely perhaps just increased supervision, although ultimately they could tighten up the lending conditions for investors or even require banks to have more capital allocated to house investor housing loans. Now, the Aussie dollar has taken, let's call it a hammering uh, of late, yet the RBA still wants to see the dollar lower. Where will the century, central bank be happy with the Aussie dollar trading at? And similarly, do you anticipate seeing that sweet spot hit during Q4? Taking a, a bead off the sort of statements the RBA was making a few months ago, I think uh, that around about 85 cents is getting into the sort of country that they would regard as appropriate, although that may now be a bit lower because commodity prices have come off, but broadly I think in the 80 to 85 cent range. Now, as we speak today, um, given the rapidity of the moves we've seen in the last few days and weeks, we're really not that far away from it at around 87 cents now. 
Um, in a high momentum environment like this, we could easily get there pretty quickly. I think it's all really going to depend on China. Um, that'll be the main variable for the Aussie dollar. How much more downward momentum does, do we see in their economy? But certainly, I think uh, over the next uh, three to nine months, we'll get into that 80 to 85 cent range. So if we look forward in terms of the RBA, no changes expected at next week's central bank rate decision next Tuesday. Could the accompanying statement be a little bit more noteworthy, perhaps? Probably not, I suspect, for traders. I think the RBA have clearly signalled that they don't want uh, to cut rates, so any sort of easing bias is off the agenda. That leaves us with the possibility of whether they could move to any sort of a tightening bias. I think it's far too early for that. Um, we've saw a soft set of retail sales data today, so I think they'll be cautious. Um, but I think we, we, we could easily see some acknowledgement uh, of the weaker Australian dollar we've seen in recent weeks. That might be offset, though, by noting that uh, conditions in Europe and China are also getting weaker. Rick Spooner, thank you very much. Pleasure, Natalie. Well, there you have it. That was Rick Spooner of CMC Markets talking exclusively to Duke of Scott BTV. That's all we've got time for right now. However, the Duke of Scott BTV team will be bringing you all the latest on that central bank rate decision and more next week. So do stay tuned. Goodbye for now.